once again And you deserve me, Corazon So nice to meet you, could you tell me where you're from? Never seen a girl like you, you're hotter than the sun Hotter than the sun, yeah, you're hotter than the sun Me and you together in the island having fun Under the influence of sweet coconut rum, girl Magical vibe, I don't want to be done I need to give me your love, I'll never give you no bun I wanna give you my love, give you my love, give you my love But my beautiful people, it's your Empress Shakura and the girls and today I'm back at you today with another recipe cooking recipe for today we're going to make homemade easy homemade turkey meat turkey meat balls okay so before I begin I would like to say a big thank you to all my lovely subscribers and to the new ones that will be coming on board I want to say welcome, 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 welcome. And to the new one that just subscribed to our channel, I want to say thank you and we appreciate love and value each one, every one of you. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos of my weekly grocery shopping haul, I will appreciate love if you can do that. You can also check out my video, my other videos, my saving tips video and my other recipe that I have on my channel. So uh let's get straight into this recipe so for the first thing you need for this recipe you will need some minced turkey and i this is seven percent fat i bought this purchased this in aldi my tongue is sticking there then you also need quarter cup of mild cheddar cheese then you need quarter then you need so not quarter you need half cup of chopped onions then you will need two eggs then you will need quad um you will need half a tablespoon of tomato puree then you will also need half a tablespoon of parsley then you will need two tablespoon of um bread scrum bread crumb oh my say bread crumb oh my face my tongue oh and then you will also need some coarse sea salt i will spin in this twice and then you will also need need um some quarter teaspoon i'm going to use quarter teaspoon of chicken seasoning and quarter teaspoon of kanju seasoning and then you will also need some olive oil for drizzling when i finish making the uh, meatball um the turkey turkey meatballs i'm going to use it to drizzle and then i will also use quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and i will also use quarter teaspoon of black pepper and then i will want to use two tablespoon of whole fresh milk so let us get it and you will also need a baking tray um with some cl um clean flame and then you will set your oven at 480 degrees Fahrenheit or 8. The gas mark will be 8. I'm going to use today. I'm going to use 8 on my gas, on my stove. Okay, my beautiful people. So let us get straight into this recipe mixing up. Okay, we're going to mix, mix, mix everything. So the first thing I'm going to put, I'm going to put the half cup of chopped onion then i'm going to add the cheese then i'm going to add the two eggs then i'm going to add my two tablespoon of breadcrumb then i'm going to add my half tablespoon of tomato puree the reason why I'm adding the tomato puree is give it this nice color as we're using turkey just give it this nice red color so that's why I'm using it and then we're going to use our parsley we're going to use half a tablespoon of dry parsley 
If you have the fresh one, you can use a fresh one, but I'm using the one in the bottle, my beautiful people. I'm using the one in the bottle. Yes, I told my to stop recording. And then I'm going to just take this off. I'm just going to spin it like one, two times. That's enough salt for me. As the um, kanju seasoning, I'm going to use quarter teaspoon of this kanju seasoning. So I'm going to take the top off. I'm just going to add quarter of that. And then I'm going to add quarter of the kanju seasoning now. I just use the chicken seasoning, so I'm going to use quarter. Quarter teaspoon of the kanju seasoning. And then I'm going to add the black pepper. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of the black pepper. And I'm not a spicy person. I don't want too much black pepper. So I'm going to add that black pepper in there. And then I'm going to add the quarter teaspoon of the garlic powder. And I'm going to put it there. You can use fresh garlic. If you have fresh garlic, then you can use fresh garlic instead of the powdered garlic as well. And then I'm going to have the two, two tablespoons of the milk. The reason why I'm adding this liquid, the egg and the milk, is to help to keep the meatball most um, moist. Because you know turkey, it's um, because it's, um, it's a bit dry, so I'm just adding these um to help to keep the to keep it moist so i'm just gonna mix these ingredients together and then i'm gonna add the the um meat meat to it the reason why i'm doing um the reason why you you do not i do not want to put the meat but um the mince first inside the bowl is because i do not want it to i want to over mix it so i rather just and then after i'm just gonna put the um so i'm gonna have the turkey here I'm just going to get a lighter. Light up the curl. I'm just going to put that inside it. And we're going to, going to um, take out. Make sure your hands are clean, okay, my beautiful people? Don't forget to get your hands. And you just put it in there. And then I'm just going to make sure you have on your oven preheater ready to 480 degrees or or I stated, let me wash my hands. Or you're gonna put it, um, put eight gas mark as my stove is eight gas mark. And you're gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna mix it together. to show you quite a bit closer to show you how it's looking so this is how it's looking so it looks like I have to add a bit more of the tomato puree it's not a bit more to red to me so I'm gonna use just a half more tablespoon of the tomato puree because I want it a bit to look a bit more red and for me so I just add another half tablespoon of the tomato curry that I want it to be a bit, a bit more red so when I use it it's to help to keep it moisture okay so now I finish mixing it now because you don't want to be too salt now I finish mixing it now I'm going to um use this ice cream scoop and I'm going to Use it and I'm just going to roll it. 
I make meatballs, okay? Yes, my beautiful people. So, you just want to just roll it like this. And you're going to put them down inside there. You just use this, continue to use this one. And you just continue to. That's and then you're going to drizzle some olive oil. The olive oil will help to keep them and give them this nice, nice color. When I use the ice cream scoop, it helps. It helps. Okay? They don't have to be perfect, perfect because... We're gonna eat them, okay? So you don't have it don't have to be perfect, perfect, perfect. And we're gonna show you a trick when I finish. What I usually do with my meatballs. I usually um just wanna make them and you just wanna put them on top there. Just keep making them, mix them, mix them, mix them, and then make them quickly. And you can have these with um with your um you can use um ready made um meat um meatballs you can use a um, ready-made sauce tomato sauce or you can make your own and you can have it with with pasta or rice so anything you choose to have it with you can have it with How we do it, okay? Let me just put this here and wash my hands. Wash my hands, yes, maybe. And then I'm gonna, for time sake, and then after I'm just gonna tidy up after I finish because I want the video to be too long, so that's why I'm doing doing it quickly so when i finish now i'm going to just wash my so this is how the meatballs is looking what you guys see this is how the meatballs is looking i'm just gonna drizzle with some olive oil on top of them and then i'm just gonna put them in the oven and let them and let them um bake for 15 to 20 minutes and then I will show you the final result. So this is how the meatball is looking now. And then I will show you the final result. When they come out of the oven, I will show you the, the final result. Okay? My beautiful people, yes, I'm back to show you the final result of my meatballs. So this is how they came out. We already had some already because it was so good. So we had some. So... This is how it's looking. So I'm just going to um, cook some pasta now and I'm going to use this sauce and I'm just going to have it for dinner for me and the girls and my partner. So my happy, happy, happy. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Until next time, love, peace, and light to you my beautiful people and if you're viewing me for the first time before you leave i appreciate love if you would subscribe and click that notification bell next to it so you'll be know every time i upload a new video until next time again love peace and light to you my beautiful people